Let's make some feedback loops in Reaper. So the basic idea of what we want to do, we want to take the output of the green track, send it to the purple track, and take the output of the purple track and send it to the green track. That way, when any of those tracks has any input, it will be sent back and forth between them and create a self-oscillating nightmare, which is exactly what we are going for. So to do the initial routing, all I have to do is drag the route button from one to the other and then vice versa. So now what is passed into one will go to the other and bounce back and forth. But we are not done because Reaper very smartly disables your ability to create feedback loops by default. So if I were to arm this track and talk, you can see the audio goes from one track to the other, but not back. So to disable the feedback loop, we go into project settings. In the advanced tab, we have the allow feedback in routing. Okay, so now I need to be very careful here because it could hurt me. Protect your ears, people. This is nothing to joke around with. Okay, and there we go. And if it gets too loud at any point, we just mute one track and then all of it's silent. Okay, so what we want to do next is on the top level of our container there, we want to add a limiter. I just used the built-in event horizon limiter here. Basically what this does is it protects our ears. I'm gonna lower that ceiling down. So now we have hard capped all of the audio coming out of Reaper. Hello. So see there, that is so much more manageable. Let's go ahead and have some fun with effects. I'm gonna throw on my favorite delay of all time, Other Desert Cities by Audio Damage. There we have feedback loops in Reaper. Thanks for joining me. Make some feedback loops in Reaper.